You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. Thins, probably. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Mr. 
Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I never miss. Well, you're right so far. You'll do nicely, little one. Will that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. Are you nervous? Maybe next time, Garrod. It's not much, but it'll last us. You're not half bad with a bow. Could come in handy. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. 